it's time to get up to some magical mischief. Welcome, magical people, to Zimmer's Visiting World. This is your TLDR guide to the Marauders event and some Easter eggs that I have found, uh, which is very really quite clever, actually. So the basics for this one, it starts on March 31st at 12 a.m. local time and lasts for two days only. So our award summary is three young James, three young Sirius, three young Peter, and three young Remus Lupin Fanable Fragments. This is for our new uh, Marauders map page and also you can get four unfinished Marauders map fragments uh, so that's pretty cool and on top of this we get three spell books the most rare thing in the game we have a free store pack of 25 spell energy six Bainbury four Bulbadox juice four angels trumpet and two rampant horns there is also a premium prankster pack of tonic for trace detection one uh, five potent extremos and 100 spell energy so that's not bad that's actually quite a good pack i don't think it's badly priced i can't remember the price so i'll just put it down here so the game mechanics for this one there are four sets of tasks sets two three and four are each geared towards a particular foundable type such as dark arts upon completing a set of tasks your trace detection tonic will change while it spawns any flagged locations around you will also change for you only now please only go to these locations if you are allowed to in the area that you're playing uh, currently in the United States and the UK uh, we are allowed to go out for exercise which means you can take your phone with you and as long as you keep moving you're not hanging around on sunbathing and around you know keep away from park benches just go for a walk uh, keep moving uh, take your phone and you're good to go and also ensure a safe distance of course if you are in an at-risk group uh, or in self-isolation because you have the coronavirus and you all have to stay put but you can use the trace detection tonic so all is good you won't miss out on anything so the reward for completing each task itself is an encounter with a marauder foundable this is good because they are rare because i have seen uh two peter pettigrews and i've seen one young lupin and that's all i've seen in the past few days and i've been out uh for about an hour a day for my exercise so Yes, definitely worth it. So our task list, set one, is use one tonic for trace detection, return five foundables of any type, and return 10 Marauders map foundables, which I assume will be boosted. There ain't that many around at the moment, so I assume that's boosted, because they're quite eh, relatively rare. And they're saying that, I've seen quite a few lately, so maybe they've upped the spawns. So completing each task will reward a young James Potter encounter. You also get one wizarding XP, uh, one dark detector and an unfinished Marauders map foundable fragment for completing the lot. Someone's having a bit of a giggle over there, I think. Upon completing this task, Tonic for Trace Detection will only generate wanted posters for Sirius Black. All landmarks will change to Wonders of the Wizarding World landmarks. Set 2. Return at 15 Wonders of the Wizarding World foundables. Return 10 wanted posters for Sirius Black. Collect two ingredients or portmanteaus from the map. So nice and easy stuff. Completing each task will give you a young Sirius Black encounter. 199 wizarding XP, so a nice 200 I think if you add the two together, and 24 Legends of Hogwarts Family XP. Pretty cool to see the fact that the wanted poster for Sirius Black actually ties into a Sirius Black reward. Nice little nugget there. Upon completing set of tasks 2, Tonic for Trace Detection will only generate Magic Most Evil fanables and all landmarks will change to Dark Arts landmarks. Can you guess who's coming next? Set of Tasks 3. Return 15 Dark Arts Vannibals, return 10 Magic Most Evil, and cast 5 Great Casts in a row. So, pretty good. Not too bad. Easy. You like this one. Each task will reward a young Peter Pettigrew encounter. Good link with the Dark Arts there. Uh, 300 Wizarding XP, 26 Legends of Hogwarts Family XP, 1 Unfinished Marauders Map Foundable Fragment. Upon completing set of tasks, uh, 3, uh, Tonic for Trace Detection will only generate Nymphadora Tonks. All landmarks will change to Ministry of Magic landmarks. Nymphadora Tonks, eh? Set of tasks, 4. Return 15 Ministry of Magic Foundables. Return 5 Nymphadora Tonks Foundables. Return 15 High Foundables. Each task will reward a young Remus Lupin. Let's see what they did there with the dogs and the Lupin. 
Uh, nice little Easter eggs are dropping in there. I had great fun spotting these. Uh, one unfinished Mortals Map Final Fragment, two Silver Keys, 50 Legends of Hogwarts Fan XP, and three Bell Books for completing set of tasks. Four. So, tips and reviews, not a lot to say here because it's quite straightforward. Uh, but someone definitely has a sense of humour with the 1 XP and the 199 XP. Uh, some of the links between like the Fanables you have to catch for the tasks and what your rewards are, it's great. So, in Nymphedora Tonks and uh, Remus Lupin and the Dark Arts and Peter Pettigrew. I love that. And one last thing to say is not much time for this, so get brewing some trace detection tonics. I whacked load in my queue and adding more ingredients. But yeah, so get that trace detection tonic going, it makes it a lot easier. Well, it makes it actually possible. So let me know in the comments below if you've seen any more Easter eggs that I haven't really spotted. Uh, let me know what you think of this event, and as it goes, pop in and say how it's going for you. I'll also on the Wootubers Discord as well. So until next time, brush up on your spells, get your ones ready, Wizards Unite.